Biden administration approving plans for some states to use COVID relief funds to pay for controversial education programs on race and equity. Here to talk about it is former Education Secretary Bill Bennett. He's a Fox News contributor. But while we have you, if we could start with something that um, Trace did an interview with uh, former DEA agent Derek Maltz. And he was talking about the amount of meth, uh, liquid meth that was yeah. found, uh, how they found it. I mean, I don't even know. But the, the amounts that are being found, I, it's stunning to me. And given your experience and background, I thought we'd get your take on that. Yeah, I was the first drug czar, uh, and so I, interest, I was very interested to listen to uh, Mr. Maltz uh, talking to Trace. Uh, Trace asked him at the end what could be done. Uh, he got it exactly right. Declare the cartels uh, foreign terrorist organizations, just like we did with al-Qaeda. Uh, this fentanyl is poisoning uh, our children, killing our children. Declare them that, then you don't have to wait for them to come into the United States to deal with them. You can deal with them there. Uh, Governor Abbott, who's just mentioned, has written President Biden to, to suggest that, to ask for that. Others should, too. The increase is enormous, and it's going to con be consequential in the lives of our children. We're going to die. A lot of kids are going to die because of this. Do you know why, sir, that they haven't done that in terms of declaring them a terrorist organization? I, I've never understood that. Uh, I don't know why they haven't done it. Uh, perhaps the discussions mm -hmm. with Mexico, but mm -hmm. I think Mexico would be very pleased to hear that. They may not say that, but I think right. they'd be very pleased to hear that. Right. Bill, I'd like to move back to critical race theory if I can. I talked to an educator this week who yeah. said, you know, make no mistake, the, the teachers unions held our kids hostage during COVID, wouldn't let them back in school, and they won. And he says, you know, now they're reframing critical race theory, calling it honest history. He thinks they're going to win again. What do you think? Uh, well, the uh, the forces are joined, aren't they? Uh, you know, it was interesting during COVID, parents looked over their kids' shoulders and said, wait a minute, what's going on? What are they teaching? What is this about? Why aren't we doing math? You know, why aren't we doing what we're supposed to be doing? What is this stuff? Uh, and now it comes out and we've seen it in Loudoun County at those enormous uh, school board meetings where people are protesting. Parents are saying, we don't want this in our children's schools. The teachers unions have now said, we're going to support this. Uh, in uh, in the schools. Uh, ultimately, I think the parents are going to win. The politics of this is very interesting. Uh, the NEA and AFT are now saying, well, this Republican-sponsored uprising of parents, it's not Republican-sponsored at all. This is parents. This is grassroots. And by the way, I think half of liberal Democrats don't want their kids educated in this stuff. Uh, this is a fight that's going to be tough. It's going to be intense. Uh, but I think ultimately parents will, as they should, win. Note, the federal government has no role in, in ordering curriculum uh, mm -hmm. in the nation's schools. That's what they do in the Soviet Union, with Russia, with China. It's not what we do here. Let's take a listen to Joy Reid. She's an MSNBC host and what she thinks about this. Right. Oh, it's a quote, excuse me. She says, a reminder that the earlier versions of these anti-fake CRT parents also used their children as fodder and false cries of communism to enforce their ultra-conservative white supremacist vision of America Hashtag uncancel history. Reminds me of like when, when Randy Weingarten, in her speech this week, she said that she wants to defend people who will teach honest history. Bill. Yeah, no, I, honest history would be great. Uh, but CRT is not honest history. CRT is based on a premise that America started in 1619. That's not true. It started in 1776. Uh, so uh, right from the beginning, uh, this, uh, this notion is wrong. Honest history, yeah. But parents are also saying, let's teach math. You know, while all this is going on, yep. let me tell you, the Chinese are not teaching critical race theory uh, and talking about Uyghurs. They are teaching math, and they're number one in the world. We're 26th in the world. It's not just the damage that this yep. does by itself. It, it's what it does in terms of neglecting other subjects, other important matters. Indeed. Bill Bennett, always good to see you. Have a good weekend. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.